They're approaching the start. They're off. Moving out along the rail for the lead, do me justice. Jaguars lady moving out second, and then it's Steinem's place moving up with a rush on the outside. That's Shady Willow. Moving around the upper turn, do me justice. On the lead now by a length and a half. Still rushing up on the outside. Shady Willow now showing second down along the rail. Jaguars lady is third. Steinem's place fourth. Innocent Table is fifth, followed by Cohiba Mary sixth. So right is seven. Thereby the quarter in 27. Approaching the clubhouse turn now out in front with a one length lead. It's Shady Willow moving up again on the outside. Do me justice challenging. Jaguars lady is third. Steinem's place is fourth. Cohiba Mary fifth. Innocent Table is sixth. So right is seven. Dayline Flyer is eighth and so Western ninth. Moving around the clubhouse turn on the front end now by two lengths. It's Do Me Justice rushing up on the outside. Jaguars Lady is now second and moving up to challenge for the lead. Along the rail, Shady Willow is third. They reach the half in 56 and three. Midway through the back stretch, Do Me Justice on top of the one length lead. Jaguars Lady on the outside is second. Shady Willow along the rail third and on the outside beginning to move. Steinem's place is fourth. Moving up with a burst of speed on the outside. Four wide, that's so right. Into the far turn along the rail. It's Do Me Justice by three quarters of a length. Jaguars Lady is second. So right on the outside is third and down along the rail. Shady Willow is fourth. Out of the fire turn and into the stretch. Do me justice showing the way by two and one half links now. They're in the lane and here they come. Do me justice on top with a two and one half length lead. Closing with a burst of speed in the middle track. Here comes So Western a long way with Cohiba Mary through the stretch. Do me justice with Cohiba Mary. At the winner's circle, do me justice. A Brownlison driven by Kevin Wallace, his third winner of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's Red Rose Pace honors the late Flossie Craig, one of Harness Racing's greatest fans and staunchest supporters. Mrs. Craig, who just recently passed away at the age of 103, loved nothing better than going to the races. Her son, Jack, started here at Hazel Park the opening year back in 1949. He worked on the starting gate crew and moved up to stall superintendent here at Hazel Park. His mother had many friends in racing. In only recent years, when getting to the track was a hardship, she would still catch the races on pass and also races from around the world via her satellite dish. She was a true fan of racing. We'd like now to direct your attention to the winner's circle, where her son, Jack Craig, accompanied by her friend, Ken Marshall, director of racing, and his lovely wife and members of the racing staff are now presenting the Red Rose Trophy to the winning owners. The result of the eighth race is all official. 